Hello everyone, and welcome back to Monsters of the Past. As always, I'm your host, Mr. G, and today we're talking about the, the world's smartest dinosaur. Smarter than Velociraptor, it's the one and only... Troodon. Troodon means wounding tooth and is a member of the Troodon family. It was an omnivore and it lived during the late Cretaceous in North America. Troodon was around 6 feet long, making it as long as an average sized male was tall. Despite appearances, Troodons were not raptors, but rather, they belonged to the closely related group Troodonte. Although like raptors, Troodons had killing claws on each foot, and were also known to have been extensively feathered. Troodons are omnivorous, and were well adapted to such a lifestyle, having features such as large stereoscopic eyes and hands that could grasp objects. So, basically, Troodons are like reptilian raccoons in a way. Troodons are most famous for the fact that they may have been the smartest of all the dinosaurs. This is believed due to the fact that they had the highest brain to skull size ratio of all dinosaurs. It is currently believed Troodons would have had the same intelligence level as a modern day house cat, which might seem underwhelming, but by dinosaur standards that would have been pretty good. Troodon's intelligence also led to one of the weirdest theories ever proposed for a dinosaur. Dinosaurian. I'm not going to talk about it much here since Monsters of the Mind has an entire card dedicated to them, and I'll go more in depth there, but in a nutshell, it was proposed that due to their high intelligence that if Troodon never went extinct, then it would have evolved into a humanoid figure. I'm going to save my comments about this hypothesis for the Monsters of the Mind episode, because it would fit more there. One last thing before we move on is the fact that in 2017, a close relative named Stenonychus was declared to be its own genus again after spending decades being classified as a synonym for Troodon, and subsequently many Troodon fossils were reassigned to it. Currently, Troodon is in taxidomic limbo as it is only known from its teeth. Now, I'll still be calling it Troodon, but just keep this in mind when you go researching it. Now that we got that out of the way, let's look at the card. Yeah, this ain't looking too good. As you could tell, this was made during what I like to call the Feather Mohawk Era. During this era, feathers on dinosaurs were kind of accepted, but only a little bit. Basically, people were like, okay, they can have feathers, but they can only have, like, patches of it. No extensive feathering. So, yeah. This is definitely a result of the Feather Mohawk Era. Also, those are not Truodon teeth. Those look like generic theropod teeth. Real Truodon teeth were serrated like, like some species of sharks. The back of the card also makes a weird claim that says that Troodons would have laid their eggs in nests of other dinosaurs and have them raise the young. You know, like cuckoo birds. There is absolutely no evidence for this claim, and I am legitimately wondering what their source on that statement is. Like, seriously, <sighs> maybe it's a result of them overestimating their intelligence like Jurassic Park did with Velociraptors, but where did they get that? <sighs> Has this ever been a thing? Was this a popular paleo meme that paleontologists are ashamed of now and no one wants to talk about it? Because this card is the only place I have ever heard that hypothesis. Overall, I give this card a 5 out of 10 just because of how confusing the back card statement is. And also the lack of feathering. And I guess also the fact that it's called Truodon and not Stenonychus. So, yeah. Now let's look at Truodon's appearances in pop culture. One of the first appearances of Truodon in pop culture was in Fantasia. If you're wondering what's with the weird head ornaments, it's because during this point in time it was believed that Truodon was a pachycephalosaur. So, yeah. Not a very up-to-date betrayal. Even without the feathers. In the Jurassic Park franchise, Troodon have appeared in quite a few titles. They've appeared in the Game Boy Advance game, Jurassic Park 3 Park Builder, the mobile game Jurassic Park Builder, and, the, and its sister game Jurassic World the game. They also appear as adoptable animals in Jurassic World Evolution, where they're described as having a venomous bite. And if you're wondering where they got that from... Well... In the video game, Jurassic Park the game, 
This game gives us quite possibly the most terrifying interpretation of any dinosaur ever. In this game, troodons are depicted as nocturnal, external parasites that paralyze an other animals, cut open their chests, and lay eggs in them, all while keeping them alive. These things are so dangerous that even the raptors are scared of them. So yeah, this is the closest thing that Jurassic Park ever got to having aliens in their franchise. And as I said before, this is quite possibly the most messed up interpretation of any dinosaur I've ever seen. I defy you to find a worse one. Anyway, in the PBS Kids show, Dinosaur Train, the conductor of the titular train is a Troodon. A Troodon also appears in the Land Before Time franchise. And finally, Troodon is a tameable animal in the video game Ark Survival Evolved, where they're clearly based on the Jurassic Park the game appearances, as they are described as nocturnal venomous predators, although they're not parasites this time around. They have a unique taming method where to tame them, you have to let them kill one of your tamed animals in combat. Apparently, this causes them to respect you, so they get tamed. Yeah. That's all for this episode of Monsters of the Past. Join me next time when I talk about the deer with giant horns. Bye!